Adam here again to show me a bit of pasta, but I'm very happy because you have hopped on board to plant-based. We've got a vegan dish today, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, something different. So this is my no-meat ragu. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I like the sound of this. It still tastes like meat. It's got all the flavour and body. Yep. But no meat. Wonderful. So I'm using San Remo Pulse Pasta. Mm -hmm. Chickpeas in particular, this one, spirals. I need to get our ragu on the go, some olive oil. Extra virgin, love it. Yep, preheated that pan. Get I'll me, get you on Get me working. Eggplant and zucchini dice, please. You got it. So nice little fine dice. Yeah, finely diced. Well, that is how ragu is, isn't it? it nice is. little fine dice. That's what we like. And this one, look, all the flavour is going to come from obviously all these wonderful veggies. And also, I'm adding in some rosemary and thyme. Yeah, ragu is a great way of smuggling veggies in, isn't it? It's a great way of upping your veggie intake very, very easily. Yeah, and as a chef, you know, I'll be honest, I think I'm probably a little bit light on my veggie intake, you know? It's amazing how often I hear that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe that's your uh, New Year's resolution. Yes, is could uh, be very more much. ragu because well, it's an easy way of getting those veggies in. Yeah, look, I think you know, adding my pulse pasta with the chickpeas helps me. You know, I squeeze that in at least once a yep. week in my diet. It's uh, not got a nice amount of protein as well. That so I'm all for the pulse pasta. Good. So sauteing off our onion and garlic. The thyme. Look, just finely chop that up, like so. That's it. You can tell you work in the kitchen because you go fast, my friend. It's all right. We don't need to have many covers in here. We've got all the time in the world. <laughs> you know... All the time in the world. Do you know what? We can actually stay back late. It's fine. No, 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 I chef. No, you. no, I chef. Yeah, you're not going to pay me. Now you made me she sound like me. <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> so just getting all those, obviously, these, I call them like soft slash hard herbs into that pan and just cooking them out yeah. and getting that flavour going is what we're looking for. Now, you're talking about, yeah, taking your time and things like that, Rosie. I know that we're all a little bit time poor. Yeah. So dicing the carrot takes too much time. Grab yourself a grater, yeah? In half, Wait. like so. God. And just grate that yeah, thing. Lucky you still got your finger there. Bad yeah, it's, it's a good little hack, that, isn't it? So if, especially if your knife skills aren't great or you are time poor, yes. grating your veggies is a very easy way of doing it. 100%. Yeah. OK. That's smelling really good now. Good stuff. All right, I'm ready here with your veggies. You ready? Yep. Awesome. So in they go. Eggplant, Lovely zucchini. Stuff. Now, obviously the eggplant and zucchini are going to suck up all that olive oil and flavour, so we need to add a little more splash, like so. So you can be generous with the uh, olive oil. We always are when you come in. Well, isn't olive oil good for you, you olive know? Oil. It is very good for you. Yeah? Superb. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's why those Mediterraneans are living a very long time. Well, I use a lot of it in my hair, though. You know, ah, just to get nice I machine. did want to ask you, actually. <laughs> I thought it was argan oil, but no. Nope. Olive oil. What the hell is it's that? A, wow. <laughs> you need to read some girly magazines and maybe ah, you'll know. Ah, OK, fair enough. <laughs> Lovely. OK, slice up those... Um, mushrooms. Mushrooms. So yep. we're using button mushrooms and also porcini. So what we've done here is take some dried porcinis, OK, added some hot boiling water just to rehydrate them. Giving their life back. Yeah, and yep. that stock there is the golden stuff. That yep. there is what's going to give our ragu that meaty flavour. The liquid, right? So, yes. yeah, you want to keep that. And you're right, Adam, it does have that meaty-esque flavour to it. Yeah, definitely. OK, Rosie. Yeah. Time to add in the button mushrooms. Oh, you got it. In we go. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. This is jam-packed. Jam-packed with nutrition. Lots of veggies. I love it. Yeah, so it's going to take around five to ten minutes for our veggies to collapse down. Then we're going to add in our porcini stock. OK, Rosie, I think it's Ooh. time to add in our porcini stock. Yes. In like so. So deglazing the pan. Yeah, love it. Easy as that. Got to all... do that more. Yeah, and look. It's great. The smell is unbelievable. That real earthy richness yeah, as well. Yeah, I can smell it. It's wonderful. Now, these porcini, yep. just a quick chop I'm going to do like so. No right or wrong there. In that goes. Oh, I mean, it almost looks like meat, doesn't it? It does. A little mind trick there. <laughs> Lentils. Some extra there protein there, poor man's meat. Here yes. we go. Lovely. Lovely. Now, time for the passata. So, that's probably one jar's worth of tomato passata. Yep. In we go. Oh. Now it looks reminiscent of ragu, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so we just give that a good stir, bring that up to the boil, and simmer that for around 10 to 15 minutes. Halfway through that, we want to add our pasta because our pasta is going to take around six to eight minutes, yep. okay? And the great thing about San Remo is 100% Australian family owned, do you know what I mean? And I think we need to support our own, yeah? 100%. Okay, it's time to add in our pasta mm -hmm. into the boiling water. 
Again, six to eight minutes, Rosie, that's gonna take to cook. When it's ready, straight out of the pot, into the pan. Yeah, no need to take it to the sink and drain off all that liquid. Straight out, nice and hot. It takes on all the flavor out, no meat ragu. And then to finish, we need some cheese. So I've got some interesting vegan cheese there. All right, too easy. Rosie, look at that ragu. Nice and thick. That looks so rich and delicious. And the smell, huh? Yeah, I know. It's really, really good. OK, let's check our pasta. Check this nice and al dente, which over all these years, I reckon I'm on the If money. anyone's going to master it, it's going to be you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Good stuff. What's really nice too, the chickpea spirals, got that little bit of obviously, again, that nutty and earthy flavour that goes super well with this ragu. And much more protein than normal pasta, so happy days. Yeah. I'm doing all right with this recipe. There is no complaints here at all. All right, stand back with that lovely white shirt. All right, a little flick. All right. I recommend that to sit for a minute or two so all the flavour can be absorbed into the pasta. OK, but we're going to serve straight out. We have time. No. Oh, we want to try this. I've got my vegan cheese at the ready. Good. Do you know how many people you've made happy doing this? Being open to plant-based, I mean, it is the future. It's not going anywhere, so I love that you've embraced it and um, you're yeah, having a little go at it, because that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Thank you. Right, bit of cheese on top? Wonderful. Right, well, I'm going to get in there. Mm, I mean, you cook the pasta to perfection, but that no-meat ragu, that's going to become a staple in my household, that's for sure, with the pasta, making sure that I get more and more protein. Yeah, well done. Well, I think the biggest challenge is get that into Richo's diet. No, Richo's not going to even <laughs> have a look in at this. This is all mine.